Hmm. Hey guys, Deadly Black Guy here, chilling with my girl Mamoose. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to increase your Slayer level. So now, what is your Slayer level? And a lot of people don't even know what that is. And your Slayer level is the purple um, circle, the purple number that's on the top left of your screen, basically always when you're in town, as you guys can see. And your Slayer level is very important because you unlock rewards such as max, um, max upgrade level. So if I was Slayer level 6, I wouldn't be able to have a plus five weapon and plus five um plus five armor because I'm slayer level six and my max upgrade level is four. So your slayer level is very important because it comes in handy because you increase your max upgrade level to plus ten, which is the max I think. Uh is it? Yeah, I think so, yeah increases it by a lot and you gain perks such as max health, max stamina, gold cores, um, double behemoth kill loot, I'm sure a lot of you guys will want that, um, max health, max stamina, um, titles such as seasoned hunter, can't wait till I get that, and you basically get a lot of stuff for increasing your slayer level. So how do you increase your slayer level? You increase your slayer level by um, by doing these objectives. As you can see, um, the objectives right there say hunt Boris. Hunt Boris while wearing his armor. Craft all of his armor. Upgrade Boris's armor to plus six. You have to do these objectives and you'll just increase your slayer level just naturally by doing these objectives. That's how you increase your slayer level. As you can see, it doesn't equal up um, perfectly because 11 plus 2 plus 6 is 19. So as you can see, that's higher than my slay level and my weapon is busting. So the higher you get, the harder it is, the harder it is to increase your slay level. So not everything will be perfect, but you really do need to um, increase these, these numbers on the side right here to increase your overall slay level. So... You increase, you really increase your slay level by doing these objectives for all the weapons. Um, do as much as you can. Mainly the sword infinity increases it, but doing these, doing these other objectives such as craft a saber, upgrade it to plus six, and play with it, that will really increase your slay level. Cry of the shrike, craft it, upgrade it to plus six, that'll increase your your overall slay level. And even when you're increasing these levels, there's a lot of rewards, such as you get a lot of cores when increasing your um, behemoth level, double chance to break behemoth parts by plus five percent, um, gold cores. Um, they give you tonics, which is basically the potions. Um, and if I go over to swords here. They give you cores and abilities. Now, abilities are extremely important in this game. They determine basically half your gameplay. A lot of people have been wondering how I spin and I do my whirlwind move on the behemoths. That's what, um, when you get to Sword Mastery 8, it's called Ardent Cyclone. I'll show you in my loadout. As you see, it's right here. I'm always using it. And I don't get hit out of it because I have another one called adhesive hilt and basically I can't be knocked back or I can't be knocked down while using my cyclone so it's a really good combo you guys should really um, check it out so the way I like to do this is is but I like to show you guys rather than telling you so let's get on to the actual gameplay I'm going to use an axe just to um, give you guys a representation, because I'm I'm gonna have to do a lot to increase my sword level. Oops, wrong guy. So we're gonna hunt a um, a behemoth, a easy behemoth, so I can really guys give you guys an example. Let's go with where's Frost. Okay, this is Frost. 
Um, yeah, let's go with this. We can upgrade this maybe one time if I have it. Where is it? Um, oh, I can't upgrade it. So let's let's drask. Hmm. We should be fine. This is frost. Yeah. If you guys are wondering about my my weapon, I mean, sorry, not my weapon, my armor and what I was wearing earlier. The um, where is it? The Inferno's razor. I'll link a description. I'll link in the description um, how to get those because I made a full guide on how to beat the um, the actual behemoth that drops it. It's pretty in depth, so you guys should um, be able to follow it easily. So let's go kill a Terog. So I recommend um, cutting off parts. If any behemoth you kill, cutting off parts because that's always going to be an objective. So let's, I'm going to try to go for his tail or his head, because that's where his horns are. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of damage with this axe. Cutting off parts shouldn't be too hard. This is a plus one frost weapon, by the way, so this is not that hard. And, um... If you guys don't already know, you can hold the abilities on the axe and do like a lot more damage. As you guys can see, those moves, those charging moves always do a lot more damage. Oh, I think I missed. Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, okay. I've actually never really used the axe, so this is new. <laughs> Oh, he's tearing me up. I need to heal. As you guys can see, this thing is pretty slow, but it does do a lot of damage. I'm just go for the head for a second here. Because he's not trying to move. Oh, here come the flame jets. Yep, there go the tail. And just by doing, cutting off parts of the boss, you know, etc. Um... You'll just be doing the objectives just naturally by playing the game. Ooh, I think we got his horn right there. Oh no, we staggered him. Trying to get his horn off. How did you miss that, sir? You would think his horn would come off. But he is being tough right now. Oh, there we go. Now we got his horn. I'll link in the description um, if you guys want to know about how to farm blaze orbs too. Oh, there we go. He's staggered again. Yes. All head damage does stagger damage. See, look, as you guys can see, I just did 50,000 damage with my axe. And that was the objective. As I said, just playing with the weapon. Hopefully he dies here. Oh, no, he's running away. Hmm. I am a, a total noob to axe, as you guys can see. I have no idea what that one does. Probably does like 2,000 damage or something. Come over here, big boy. Oh, it's at two now. Is this like a combo meter or something? That's what I'm getting the feeling of. I just keep throwing my weapon and it just keeps going up. Not like that. A little more believable, please. As you guys just see, I'm playing with the X and it just leveled up my mastery again. By using frost. Oh, I died. By using frost. Um... Are using a frost weapon? There we go. Now Cherok's finally dead. And um, I did it in seven minutes, and I got an S. And as you can see, my Cherok and my Axe Mastery went up. 
Wait, I'm not sure if my chair rock mastery went up, but my X mastery definitely went up three um, levels. And I got six blaze orbs. If you want to learn how to get blaze orbs, I'll leave a description below on how to get them. So as you guys can see, my Slayer level went up a lot. I didn't fully level up because I'm already level 18 and it's hard to level up the higher you go. But you guys can see that this does work and this is how you increase your um, Slayer level and get rewards. If I would have got X Mastery level 6, I would have got um, an ability. So um, if you like the video, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. And subscribe if you guys want to um, I'll be having more Dauntless videos coming soon and I'm out